Thanks, Christina. Now we're going to take a look at the latest business headlines. We're help with that. We're bringing in former NASDAQ and business reporter Krisha Lenzo, as well as business and political commentator John Burnett. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. All right, let's take a look at those markets. They finished the day mix. This morning, futures are slightly up ahead of the opening bell. Okay, so moving on. It was quite a day for chipmaker NVIDIA, a monster financial forecast, getting the S&P and NASDAQ absolutely jumping, benefiting from the tech world's rush and artificial intelligence intelligence. Krisha, let me start with you. So how is AI uh, just really catapulting NVIDIA towards that one trillion dollar club? So despite everything we've seen in the markets this week, especially with the debt ceiling negotiations, NVIDIA is soaring. So that even speaks to the company itself. The chip maker is the reason it's doing so well. It's all a part of ChatGPT. It's all about processing. Mm-hmm. That simultaneous um, you know, connection has driven the stock price through the roof. And um, chip making is increasingly important, as we've seen as countries like China are even banning um, certain chips to be used, uh, micron chips for that matter. Um, but NVIDIA in the United States is doing incredibly well, all because of this uh, generative AI trend that we've been seeing across the board in companies like even Apple, Meta, all, everywhere. So it's a huge trend. Absolutely. I mean, everywhere I was looking, all you saw was NVIDIA yep. surging the markets. It was all over the place yesterday. So we had to step stock chips yes. on shore to make sure that we corner the market. Absolutely. Uh, how about this? So several reports came out about the IRS investigating Matt Taibbi, the Twitter files journalist, of course. So Greta Van Susteren asked him directly about it. Take a listen. They rejected two of my returns, one from 2018 and uh, one from 2021. Uh, but the 2018 issue, I never heard about, and they, even by their own admission, they didn't contact me for over three years about it until Christmas Eve on a Saturday last year. So it's the optics of it are pretty weird. All right, John, uh, after listening to that, what's your initial reaction? I don't know if I should answer the question. <laughs> I don't want to get audited. There you the, go. <laughs> the thing is, is that as he just stated, you know, uh, to have the IRS knock on your door, so to speak, on Christmas Eve about a tax audit right. at the time in which you're sharing, you know, the holiday spirit with family and likely it spent a lot of money buying gifts. This is a this sets a bad precedent. But, you know, it's the 10 year anniversary since the IRS started launching their their raid on conservative values. Mm-hmm. Right. So this is just continuing. And it, it begs the question, what type of country have we become? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. If, we're, if we're going after the political uh, enemies and they did a profile uh, of him to see if he had a gun license, hunting, fishing and so forth. So they create these little little profiles. So I, I would say the IRS, FBI, DOJ are, are the biggest threat to American freedom and in our republic. Absolutely. Um, scary stuff. Uh, let's move on a little bit. So Dollar Tree shares plunging about 14% after the company fell short of Wall Street earnings expectations for the most recent quarter. Uh, you know, they may also raise prices. You know, that's the Dollar Tree, raising prices <laughs> in order to offset losses due to immense crime. Krisha, what do you make of this? I think it's what we've been seeing in a lot of the retailers. When it came, you know, Walmart, Target, all of these uh, companies are coming out and saying that crime is a huge issue when it comes to um, just general earnings because it really affects the bottom line and revenue. In this case, in Dollar Tree, I, I could assume that it would also be a similar case, but they also have to probably raise those prices. A dollar is no longer a dollar. It doesn't get Good you point. as far as it, and, it once did. So I think with Dollar Tree, for sure, we might be seeing, you know, maybe a dollar and a half, dollar fifty cents. Yeah, most that's of those actually, items, right? That's a really good point. And when it comes to crime, yeah. I mean, we're seeing places like Nordstrom, all these mm-hmm. other stores just completely shutting down. That's a lot of losses of jobs as well, John. Absolutely. Maybe we should actually create a new index, right? The family dollar, Dollar Tree in New York City. We have 99 cent stores mm-hmm. and up. And right? up, exactly. So, 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 so that's actually an indication when you look at the inflation and other economic factors, including crime and things of that nature, it, it actually puts pressure on supply chains. It put, put, places pressure on retailers, right, that drives price, prices higher. Mm-hmm. So it, maybe it should be an index. How right. far will it go? Will it go to a dollar ninety nine store and things of that nature? So this is really telling for uh, the working class American. Yes, definitely. Um, so how about this? So there, it's right around the corner. We're getting into the summertime. The, it's warming up out there. So let's talk about this 
dessert. Um, one of the most expensive, I think, cold desserts out there. Krisha, tell us about it. Oh my goodness. So um, this dessert is from Japan. Um, we look at ice cream. Everyone's going to be eating ice cream uh, this weekend on Memorial Day, but it has truffles. Um, we can look right now and there's gold leaf. It has truffles from Alba, Italy. And I don't know if that looks so enticing, um, it like but it, it doesn't even look like ice cream. <laughs> but basically uh, it's ice cream. It will cost you more than uh, any, any amount of ice cream you could ever, you know, amount you could spend this summer. So so um, right now, it's just, it's a little, uh, well, it doesn't uh, look too appetizing. I'm just ta taken, I trouble, taken aback I by those images. <laughs> I'll say, I'm not the target customer. <laughs> Perhaps Biden and Nancy Pelosi, they're the target customer. Nancy Pelosi would love <laughs> that yes, ice cream. have a fridge full of all of that ice cream. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, the final one. I don't want to sing this song, but here's the story of a lovely home for sale. Brady Bunch house. John, tell us about it. <laughs> I love it. You know, I, oh, I grew up watching the Brady Bunch, as quite sure many of your viewers have as well. And I love the house. I know every corner. I know upstairs, downstairs. It's beautiful. It's absolutely. Krisha, yes or no, would you live here? Why not? I mean, <laughs> it's, not? it's a, a relic in history. You see those Formica tables. You, I think they even have the basement where all of the kids played. And they actually added some additions to this house as well, HGTV put in about $1.9 oh, million right. to refurbish the Brady Bunch home. So, yeah, I mean, Marsha, Jan, and all, all the members of the family, you could be Why a part not? of that now with this it, house. It totally reminded me of my past, right? The wooden, wooden panels. Yeah, stepping back <laughs> in time. Exactly. Nostalgic. Yeah. Nostalgic. Awesome. We love all it. American. Chris Alonzo, thank John Burnett, thank you so much for joining us this Friday. We really, really appreciate it. All right. Up next, May is both police appreciation.